Hello everybody, welcome back, Fumbler here and today I have actually a bunch of vlogs for you and the reason is I'm celebrating my 100 subscribers and for this I want to do a giveaway and this is uh, the prize pool that you can win actually um, I thought I'd just put a bunch of vlogs together for you to enjoy for the person who wins it and yeah, let's quickly go through those. First of all, we have pet locks, the ADTA 40, 6 pin lock, 116.40 from Burgwächter, Burgwächter Atlantic, fun locks to pick, also the Abus or Brady lock or pack out lock. The, yeah, you can see me see this on my on my channel i featured this in an earlier video and also the the master lock s31 which is also a loto lock very similar to the 410 then um, i have some euro profiles euro cylinders of course and then bks 88 i cannot miss to include this one then um an abus i think e30 with this nasty keyway really quite a challenge to pick then the dome sigma uh, six pin lock also quite challenging to pick this bidding is also quite nice um yeah really to enjoy and then also um, a lock from from Basi, more of their lower range and from the higher end range, I thought I include the the Keso 2000 because yeah, I could just put it uh, in half. I'm keeping the other half because I still want to to pick it at some point. But I thought yeah, this one I want to give away. So for the person who wins it to enjoy. Mm, yeah, what do you have to do? Well, um, the the easiest thing I is to comment with the hashtag lockfumpler100 down down in the comments and yeah but i wanted to have to have more i really like the the community how they share their um, knowledge and give tips for new pickers and if you run into problems you you can always turn to the discord and ask uh, what should i do or yeah people will help you and that's really cool so I thought I would do multiple stages of entries. So as mentioned, the easy ones, easiest is Lockfumbler 100 in the comments. But if you want to, you can share also a tip that has helped you in your lock picking career, or where you can think, well, this might help someone. Um, it can be like, uh, remember that if you have a short, uh, a long, a short key pin in, in, in the first chamber, be sure that it might be hiding behind your tensioner or so just just a very quick tip or so or a link to a video or so i don't know be creative um just share your knowledge with the others and if you if you do that if you leave another t uh, tip to you to the hashtag then i will count this as two entries so to say and give you a greater chance of winning the the prize pool and that's not all because I really like watching also your videos. I thought I also give you an opportunity to do a video entry mm. of you picking a lock. It can be anything. I mean, this here I, I do an example basically with this Master Lock 140. And when I started picking, I thought, yeah, you always put the tensioner right here and then you tension like this. So bottom of the keyway tension or not pin side tension and you just pick the lock right but as it works still maybe with this muscle lock 140 actually quite good um, this is always takes a lot of up of your keyway so my tip to new pickers would be um, try bottom of the keyway or pin side tension because this gives you so much more room on the top mm. and then you have so much more space if you pick in the keyway 
that helped me a lot. I mean, not with the Master 140 maybe necessarily, but um, with other locks in my picking career, right? Where otherwise uh, the space in the keyway would be very tight. And yeah, can't get it open now. <laughs> yeah, okay, finally. <laughs> so that would be the idea for a video entry, and I will count these, of course, a bit more than just a comment and a tip. So this would be like four entries, so to say. So would be happy to, if you, some of you people do that and enter like this, um, yeah, just leave the, the hashtag in the title so I can find you. Um, one more thing I want to mention though is that, yeah, even though it's a giveaway and I'm giving all these locks away, um, shipping cost can be quite drastic. So within Europe, I will give this all away for free. But if you live outside Europe, um, I would be happy if you could take half the shipping costs or so. That, that's all I'm asking for. <laughs> okay, so looking forward to your entries and yeah, that's all for today. See you in the next video. Bye, have a great day.